You know, it is interesting because the thing that we call life, it isn't a byproduct. Instead, it is a process. You cannot explain life. You just live it. You just lose yourself in the process, moment by moment, with everything you do. And you experience everything with full attention. And those little moments are going to build up and make circumstances. So, if moments create life circumstances, what about the destructive ones? Destructive moments in our lives that we get ourselves in. Scrolling through your phone just for five minutes. Procrastinating just, just for a little bit. Watching porn. Like, you do these things thinking that you're only going to spend time for a little bit, right? For a moment. But one, we all know that. You keep doing them for a long time. And two, even if you do them for a short period of time, these moments are going to be compounded and they're going to be massive. That's why I titled this video, Momentary Distractions Are Wrecking Your Life. They are momentary, but in the long term, when you see it from above, they are really ruining your life. But why let these little things control your life instead of you controlling them and gaining power over them? Why don't you get angry that your life is getting distracted by just these little momentary distractions? So in this video, I'm going to give you tips that I've personally used to get over this problem. The problem of letting my life getting controlled by these momentary distractions. Number one, set a timer for the apps that you use. So if your screen time is more than five, six hours, and a lot of that time is spent on entertainment what are you doing with your life you compare yourself with the people that you don't even have to compare yourself with and you're consuming lies from other people so set a timer especially on the apps that you're spending too much time just doing mindless activity and once the timer goes off and it is telling you that the app is gonna freeze just do nothing get up and do something else it might not even be something so productive but just giving your eyes some rest is even better right walk spend time alone prepare food create content, but just don't give in to these momentary distractions. Of course, after the timer goes off, when you finish the time that you're gonna spend on YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, you wanna turn off the timer, but don't give in. You have a choice to either be defeated to these temptations or win over them and live in the real world, making memories and changing your life circumstances for the future. Because as I said, moments create circumstances. All right, number two, have an objective to work on. Because if you don't have a goal or destination that you're trying to reach by sacrificing these momentary pleasures, you'll soon get back to your old habits. This is guaranteed because you're gonna get bored and that boredom is gonna increase your desire to get lost in this momentary destructions. So have an objective that you're aiming for trying to accomplish. Let's say you're gonna build muscle, you're trying to get in shape. So that is your goal, your purpose. Now let that consume your mind. Whatever you do, it has to be aligned with that goal. The YouTube videos you watch, the websites you go through, the articles you read, it's just fitness. Now do you know what's gonna happen? You don't even have the time to consume other things. You won't even have the time to fall for those momentary pleasures and distractions. So have a purpose, a mission, and just let it be your focus for a little while. I'm telling you, once you do that, once you have that focus, anything else is just gonna disappear. All right, number three, set a challenge for yourself. Don't you love a challenge? Like, what do you think people love video games it's because there is a challenge there is suffering in the process so why don't you set a challenge for your life why don't you make your life a challenge you say i'm not gonna eat junk food for the next 30 days that is a challenge so you create a daily routine checklist that you're gonna cross off every single day because you're not eating that junk food now it motivates you now it becomes like a video game so if you want to escape these momentary pleasures and distractions give yourself a challenge enjoy the journey and see how it's gonna change your life Number four, learn impulse control. So impulse control is your ability to take a step back and just analyze your emotions, your feelings, and just why you want to do something in general. If you get an urge to watch porn, you ask yourself and create a gap between you and that feeling. You ask yourself why you really want to watch it. And then again, and then again. And you get to the point where you realize that the problem is not just you wanting to go to the websites and watch the porn, but you know that the problem is something deep. Your urge is not telling you to directly go and watch porn, but it's telling you to hide from something that is kept in your subconscious mind. That's why it's so essential to learn impulse control. To Create that gap between your animalistic primal brain and your logical brain. And that way you're going to make better decisions. So don't let momentary distractions ruin your life. Be in control. Thanks for watching. Ciao.